Oh, here we go. I'll walk over the forks. So here we got kind of the general equipment shop for my sm or his smaller equipment. Forklift. Uh, we got the backhoe. We got the bale truck. Bill bed didn't stay down, and my computer. There we go. Got the hydro bed truck. And we got the big old Ford. Back out to the truck out there. Pull that shit. We got the fuel tank. We, he has his own on site fuel. We're going to fill our own equipment up here. We can get a shipment in whenever it gets low, or we can bring a shipment in if we need to. Uh, if we have, if we buy a fuel trailer, of course. Uh, this is just kind of the planter shop. Uh, just general. The more sophisticated equipment goes in here. The stuff for planting, all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't call it general equipment shop. I just call it just kind of extra equipment type shop <clears throat> we got the plow sitting up there on the top a couple silos up here propane tanks a couple carts there we have the old F800 it's kind of a beast but I don't think it's dri drove in a while so it's it hasn't been driven in a while so it probably needs batteries and all that and the sprayer and the spreader got the big gooseneck over there got that cultivator now this shop is more of our the big equipment maybe heavy equipment we have the large tractor, the Traction King. This one's my favorite tractor. It's got a lot of power. It's the main plowing tractor. Large use. And then we have the old Russian Combine. That he got at auction. I mean, it may be some unknown brand we can't pronounce using characters not in the English alphabet but he says it's been a good combine I mean it does the job so I can't complain with that it's a running combine and combines are not cheap we'll eventually get us some new ones And then we have the first field. I'm going to try to get up here at a high vantage point. <clears throat> I can kind of look up over. Goes all the way back to right back over there. <laughs> way back around there. We don't own that field beyond right here. So this is one of our fields. We we'll kind of own this little forested area. And then we own this field, field 32. Goes all the way back in there. It's all the way up in here. Kind of overlooking the roadway there. This is an absolutely beautiful map. Uh, shout out to DJ Modding who made this map. They uh, just released it yesterday on July 3rd, and I'm playing it 
today on Independence Day. Happy birthday, America. Uh, it's it's a well done map. They did an excellent job on this map. So shout out to them for awesome job they did on it. You can download the map on their page on Facebook. It's the easiest way to support the content creators is download from uh, their own original links. There we go. Now we get out of here. Well, that's been a farm tour. Just kind of a update on what we're doing. We're going to pull up to the house here. Close, make, make a little closing statement. And call this the Season 1, Episode 1 of this series. Again... I do recommend watching the other video despite it not being attached to a series anymore just because it does touch on some stuff that I didn't touch on on this video. Um, I am still new to editing. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Give me your opinions. Uh, and have a wonderful 4th of July. All right, so in closing, let me turn my truck off here so we can, I mean, everyone can hear me. In closing, we are, this isn't our farm yet. This is, this is Grandpa's farm right now. He's, he still basically holds ownership of it. We are going to be working the farm, though, and making money using the farm, Eventually, we are set to inherit this farm when uh, Grandpa retires to a nursing facility and gives over the property to me when he feels the time that's time for that to happen. But we're going to be growing canola on this farm to start out. A uh, majority of what we're going to grow is going to be probably canola. Uh, we're going to be growing canola and harvesting it for biodiesel production eventually we'll get into some other crops and other types of fuels but basically we're trying to start up a biofuel farm and company out here in Oklahoma we'll be trying to work